Here is the transcribed story in a nutshell. Listen. April Kane has been a prisoner of the woman Sawjack who hypnotized her. Terry Lee and Pat Ryan have traced them to an island hideout on the jungle coast of China. Two other men, Baron de Plexus and Slugger Dunn, have also arrived on the island. They are after the fortune in gold taken from them by Sawjack. Well, that's the situation right now, and in a moment, we'll get in on the excitement. Terry and the Pirates is brought to you by the makers of Libby's Tomato Juice, one of Libby's hundred famous foods. You know, boys and girls, one of the things our government has especially asked every good American to do is this. Uncle Sam asks us to eat the right things. Because you must eat right to be a strong American. Protective foods like Libby's Tomato Juice are important to every one of us. You see, Libby's Tomato Juice has vitamins, lots of them. It's rich in vitamin C and A, and also supplies vitamins B1 and G. Yes, Libby's tomato juice gives you vitamins in a great big way. And it's grand for flavor, too. Refreshing, zippy, delicious flavor, like red ripe tomatoes fresh off the vine. Every food that Libby packs, and there are more than 100 of them, is famous for its flavor. Have you ever tasted Libby's fruit cocktail, or Libby's corn, or Libby's swell corned beef hash? Gosh, they're great. Flavor like that makes a meal a real adventure in good eating. And Libby guards food values as carefully as flavor. When your mother asks for Libby's, she can be sure of nutritious, convenient, wonderful tasting foods. So tell her about Libby's tomato juice and other Libby's foods. How much they contribute and how they're extra special good. She'll be glad to get them. The name is Libby's. L-I-B-B-Y-S. Libby's Foods. And now, Terry... And the pirate. Well, that woman saw Jack was tripped up in her plans, yeah? She was tripped into a shaft. She fell several floors down to the waters of the bay. This unexpected vanishing act left April in the hands of Slugger and Deplexus. But saw Jack had not quite finished with these people. First thing they knew that they, they smelled smoke. So leaving the king gal hypnotized and alone... They went to investigate because, as Slugger had done so wisely expected, where they smoke, somebody must use the match. Well, as for you and I, suppose we join Terry and Pat as they walk along the narrow wooden island pier in the Tropic Garden. Well, this is Stone Jack's private entrance, I guess. Must be a path or something leading down to the main house. Well, now, let's keep moving. We'll come to it eventually, Pat. I wish I knew where Duplexes and Slugger Dunn were. They're up to no good in this island, but it's the doggone dark around here. Uh, you know what they're after. And you know that they don't suspect us of being within a thousand miles of them. Sure, they want the gold, and so do we, if we can get it. And we want to find April. That is, if this island is where Scone Jock is. Yeah, of course. Curry, I hope nothing's happened to April. Well, I hope she's here. I hope Scone Jock's here, and I wish we had a bit of light. All we have to do is slip on a loose board, and we'll tumble into the drink. Yeah, we could do with a little illumination. But if we light a light, we may attract attention. Yeah. We'll have to noodle along here in the dark. Wait. Wait, what's that? You know what it is. That's a power boat. That's up ahead. The way we're going. Maybe it's the plexus and slugger. No. If they came in a motorboat, it didn't sound like this one. It sounds like a steamboat of some kind. This is it. It's coming out of some coal. Here's the first one. Get back down the pier. The light will pick us up. Down there. Suppose it was Sean Jock? Could be. Why is she scooting across the water at this time of night? I don't know. Something's gone wrong with somebody's plan. We seem to be on the outside of those plans, Pat. We don't know anything about anything. We don't know if Sean Jock is on this island. We don't know if April's here, and we're not very sure about the pressures and slugger done. Maybe they've come and gone. Let's find out where we stand. Now, come on. This pier has to end someplace. Must be a walk or something up the house. That's you out here, Baron? Yeah. What did you find out? Well, the place is on fire in a half a dozen corners. Yes, I wasn't out on the other side of the building. Then that San Jack Dane didn't bump off. She got out of the water and started the fires. Look there. The top floor is all lit up, Baron. She must have had the place all set to burn it up in case she got in a tight spot. Uh, there is. You hear that, huh? It's a motorboat. Is that the one we came on? No. I can hear by the sound. That's the top boat. San Jack. Come on, Baron. Let's go down on the dock and maybe we can still catch it. Oh, fool, you got me to know. Then go out of the way. Well, if 
that Sandek, and she got away with the gold, too. Oh, you sure made a mess of this job, Baron. Oh, this is no time to quarrel, Mr. Dunn. Sooner we get back to the mainland, the better. Now, one chance to get the line on that woman. Now, quick, we go down to our boat. I hope that scow we rented didn't pull a fade out. Boy, that house is going to make some fire in a few minutes. You can see things as bright as day. Yes, look up there, on the other side. Soul Island will be one big fire before long. But only escape it by boat. Hey, wait a second. Where's that kid, April Kane? Oh, who cares? He's not our responsibility. Now, oh, look, Baron, that's no go, see? I'll do a lot of things, but I won't let a, a poor kid hypnotize at that. I won't let her just sit back there in that house and get burned what up. What do you mean you won't leave here? Anywhere stay then. I'm going. Not on that motorboat, Jane. So we'll soon find out about that. Now, ah, look, Baron. You'll go head first into that water if you try well, and... Stand anything. back, Mr. Dunn. I have a man to shoot you anyway. This will be a good time. The fire will sweep this island in a few minutes. There'll be nothing left. Nothing. See? the storehouse. Big building will be next. Well, the fire will sweep this dry wooden box. Hey, look, Jerry. Jerry, down there, the main pier. There's two men down there. And this fire lights up everything. Yeah, it's the Baron and Slugger John. We can't let them get away. I don't see signs, Dr. April. He must have been in the speedboat to pass. Now, come on. Let's get close and surprise the plexus and slug her gun. Well, Mr. Dunn, we waste time. You wish to be home, you wish to go back and get the same time. Well, go ahead. Yeah, sure. You'll take a partner in that motorboat. Exactly. The boy has to be out of the same together. It's for me, sir. I'm leaving the island. And I'm leaving it now. Oh, no, you're not. You hope this will get the green of Mr. Dunn. Seems that I hold the gun on you this time. Well, then, here's your story. Come with me. Forget the girl or stay here. But speak up. The fire is getting heavy. Now? Right now. Come on, get him, Jerry. Stocking! I'm in the house. Save that, Baron. Don't keep out of this water. Go ahead. Go ahead. Get this one out. Hey, get the hell out. Hurry. Look at him. He just wants a big house. He can't help himself. Hey, can you manage the van? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Get him. Now then, Baron. Take care of you. Yeah. Are you all right, April? 
Sure. I'm not busy anymore. I mean, I'm not in a state of trance or whatever. But we can't do a thing with all this water. Pretty soon there'll be all water and no boat. It's ridiculous. She's normal again, Terry. Well, I ain't normal. We're in a spot, fellas. The more we bail, the more water comes in. It's leaking like a fish net. Well, anyway, it's better than being back there on that island. Look out there. The whole thing is burning. You're lucky to get away. Yeah, but I don't see how. I tell you, we're going to be swimming pretty soon. And with the tide going out, well, we'll be carried nobody knows where. Well, Baron the Plexus, you happy about all this? You had best come tell you to with your friends, Mr. Ryan. Yeah, the Baron will have a lot to answer for when he reports to the dragon lady. What's she going to say when he admits that the woman Sanja got away a second time? With a goal, too, I'll bet. Yeah, I'd forgotten about that. You had the plexus as fun to talk his way out of. Yeah, and I got a little score to settle with Billy Whiskers over there, too. But that can wait. Now, look, gents. In about ten minutes, we're going to be fresh out of boats. Understand? We don't stand much chance against the tide, and these waters ain't very healthy to swim in. You see what I mean? You mean there's sharks around here? They ain't minnows, and they don't sleep nice. So get them life jackets ready. I have many life beers. Now, what do you want me to do? Cry on your shoulder? Here, Baron. Baron, start with this. Well, April, this is a mess. Thinking motorboat and... Yes. This is like going from the fire and turning the fire. Only we're going from the fire and the water. And it's going to take all the curl out of my hair. Well, will you listen to that? Come on, let's bail some more. Well, April Kane didn't hit the nail on the head, but she wasn't far off. Our friends are in a pretty serious spot. Pat, with his wounded shoulder, thanks to deflection. And Slugger Dunn has suddenly become quite a pal, don't you think? But now, with the boat slowly sinking under them, well, I'll tell you more in just a moment. Now, remember, boys and girls, you're going to ask Mother to get some Libby's tomato juice. Tell her it's a marvelous tasting and rich in vitamins. She knows you need vitamin C and vitamin A, and Libby's tomato juice gives them to you in generous amounts. And it contains vitamins B1 and G as well. What you go for through its flavor, flavor that's made famous for many years, and to get that flavor, you want to be sure it's Libby's tomato juice. For victory, good Americans are buying United States bonds and cents. Well, if I were you, friends, I'd be sure and tune in on tomorrow's transcribed fairy tales. I can promise you some new excitement, and I have a hunch that the dragon lady will soon put in an appearance in a strange and thrilling manner. Yes, there's big stuff popping. So let's make a date for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>